All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my JPS receiver that I've built. JPS stands for Junk Pile Shortwave. It started life back in 1981 as a TX520 Pioneer AM FM stereo receiver. I converted the AM side over to shortwave. One thing I really like about it is that this tuning knob is weighted, so it makes it really easy to land right where you want to. Um, I've had a lot of people ask what kind of band spread this has. I can tell you this much. Where, where it's at right now, that's about 7.5 megahertz right there. And I also know that I can pick up WWV in at least three different places across the band here. So it's, it's really wide. And if you're looking here and notice something, this, this here is a little cream frosting and that's a little bit of chocolate. I laid an eclair up here last night and my cat grabbed it and took off. So uh, that's why that's there. And no shortwave receiver would be complete without a BFO. And I made one of those, and that's what's inside there. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So get ready. We're going to open this thing up. I'll show you how it's done. All right, to convert one of these to pick up shortwave is really pretty easy. Look for the ferrite rod with the copper, very fine copper wire wrapped around the end of it. That's the AM antenna coil. And you'll find that is covered with wax. Even though it is, get some insulated wire and make a coil. Uh, cut a piece of wire about six to seven inches long right in that range, and wrap that coil around the uh, ferrite antenna where the copper's at on that end, just like that. Then bring the two ends of it together and solder them together, and that's going to be your external antenna connection. And that's where I have my wire soldered on that goes out and goes out to my long wire antenna that's outside that's about 80 feet long. And as soon as you make this modification and do this, this radio will pick up shortwave, very simply. Now, one thing I did to... Uh, enhance its ability a little bit. It's over here, that can right there with the red screw on it. Um, that's very important. What I did is I found another, I had another radio and I tuned it very high uh, to a station on the high end of the AM band. And then I uh, adjusted that can right, that screw in that can right there until I brought whatever that was as far down on this dial as I could. In other words, I wanted to push all the AM stuff as far down here as I could. That way, we would be just above it and be able to pick up a whole bunch of shortwave. So that is something you'll have to experiment with, but it's not too not too hard at all. Next is the uh, BFO, which is homemade. This is an old AM FM transistor radio. I am running it by battery because it's a lot cleaner. There's no hum. I couldn't seem to find a place to pick up power in here or even with a wall pack power supply that didn't induce hum. So I'm running it off batteries. So the power wires go out. But to make a BFO out of an old AM radio, for me, it was very simple. I took a piece of insulated wire. I found the can, looked for the can with the uh, red screw in it. In this case, it had red paint, uh, very close to the tuning capacitor. And right next to that can, there will be a little coil, as you can see right there. I took my wire, I just simply ran it right down the middle of that coil. And it just goes through there a little bit and stops. That wire comes out and goes actually out and it comes back and this far lug uh, the left uh, the far left lug here that you see is the AM external AM radio antenna connection and that's where I landed that wire all right and next I'm going to show you how the BFO works So when I hot glued the AM FM radio inside the, the lid here, I, I notched out a spot so I could get to the, the tuning capacitor on the, on the radio. And I didn't have enough clearance to put the knob on it, so I'm using a little screw. But as you can see in here, as I turn the screwdriver, you've got a homemade VFO. BFO. Anyway. A um, couple of things. I've got to put a knob on this and make it bigger so I can turn it with more precision. Screwdriver's kind of hard. Another thing you'll find is that doing it this way, the capacitance of your body will, will change the tuning as you even move your hand like that. But that's the gist of it. It works in a pinch. Have fun. All right, actually, before we go, we'll give you one, one final scan of the dial here. All right, have fun and thanks for watching.